Annapolis is not only known for being the capital of Maryland, but in the 17 and 1800s, it was the capital of slave trading in the state. You can still almost hear the ghosts of Kunta Kinte and the thousands of other African slaves who were bought and sold here in what today Annapolis calls its market space plaza. Two to three centuries, blacks have lived and died in this town, but today, how do blacks live in the capital of a state that for centuries has prided itself on being the home of freedom and equal opportunity? There's a lot of opportunities for black people. That's right. A lot of opportunities. I made it successful. Jobs? I, I don't have one right now. I don't have a job or anything. We are gaining, but we still have a lot to accomplish. The black community used to be in the heart of downtown, in the shadow of where the state house now stands. But today, 12,000 blacks live in Annapolis, and 5,000 of them live in the 10 public housing projects on the fringes of town. They were displaced in the late 60s by urban renewal and the historic preservation projects. But not all blacks live in poverty. I think there's just been a 180 degree change from what Annapolis was in the late 40s to what it is now. Dr. Aris Allen is one of Annapolis's leading citizens. We spent the day with him at his plush bayfront home on the outskirts of town, a community made up of black professionals. I'm one who believes that education will solve many, many of our problems. Education on the part of the non-black community, having them get to know us and respect us. Dr. Allen has gained the respect of many whites and blacks in Annapolis as a medical doctor, a civic leader, and a politician. So in almost every responsible area, blacks are able to participate. And I think all those things go to make a community, a better community in which to live. Black people are politically, socially, and economically oppressed in the city. Carl Snowden is one who will be quick to tell you that the prosperous lifestyle Dr. Allen enjoys is the exception, not the rule, for the majority of blacks in Annapolis. To prove the point, he took us through several of the city's public housing projects. Water pipes freeze up during the winter, you know. Landlords, they don't do anything if you're living in a black community. There have been an attempt by many to make uh, the progress that blacks have made in the city and state uh, to roll back the clock. But I must tell you that there is an effort on many people's part to prevent that from occurring. On, on the water, I mean, you know, we got the same opportunities as anybody else. Uh -huh. You know, white or black doesn't make a difference. It's been hard to find a place. If you find a place too high or if you find an apartment, it's either they don't have any openings but you have to do something for yourself sometimes, too. You just can't sit around and wait for someone else to do something for you. 